Hi everyone. So today uh, I'm going to explain briefly how how um, we did the predictive data mining that you face using Rapid Miner. So um, this is how we execute. This is how we do the models. So first, we're going to retrieve the data set and then select attribute so for select attribute we are going to use subset because we are not going to use every attribute so this is the selected attributes meaning this is the attributes that we are going to use and this is the attributes that will not be used in this model so apply and then for set row so the attribute name is set to level distress because you are trying to um, predict the distress level which um, either financial distress or low financial distress and then the target rule is set to label so split data this new operator is used to um, um, to to divide the the data set into training and test so if we double click here then we can see the ratio is set to 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 meaning we are setting it to 60-40 ratio and this is the, the next base um, operator uh, apply model and performance is basically to um, to to see the classification report and the accuracy of the model so if you read this that will show the the Confusion matrix and the accuracy, including the classification area of the model. So, for this, um, for the one that I showed before is for um, only resampling, meaning the, the pre processing is only resampling. So, the accuracy by using NAG base using 60 for T ratio, the accuracy is 59.26%. So, here we can see the results, the predict low financial distress financial distress and this is the true financial low financial distress and true financial distress the it also shows the class precision and the class recall and this is the classification error so here we can see the performance factor so it shows the classic confusion matrix in this way for this one it's a bit easier because you can see in a table form so um for other for other experiment for experimental we are using standardization and resampling so we are just going to change the data set that has already been processed by using rapid miner and for the third experiment would be uh, resampling standardization and discretization so the only difference between experiment two and three is that um, the age for experiment 2 is set to standardized age. We are using standardized age. And for um, experiment 3, we are using um, discretized age, meaning the age is divided into 7 bits. And But the steps of the models are the same. So I will only be showing and explaining by using um, this experiment. So this all for um, Nate Bayes using Rapid Miner. Thank you.